hi everybody um, and welcome back to Alton Golf Club. I don't know if you recognise this place behind me. Uh, instead of the usual newsletter we thought we'd uh, do a video, video newsletter. So Clive and I are here. We want to show you a few of the things that, the, that Mark and his team have been doing on the course whilst we've been grounded. And we'll also run through the timeline for getting Alton Golf Club back up to full steam, covering off access to the course, the booking system, as well as access to other facilities, including the practice areas, the pro shop, and the availability of food and drink. This timeline and what we can and cannot, cannot do is obviously dictated to us by the current government and EGU's restrictions and guidelines, so subject to change. So, we can play golf from the 29th of March. Monday the 29th of March, we can play in fours, uh, but again, we will still need to use a booking system and there will be a three-day booking window. As we covered in our recent letter, we will be removing the booking system as soon as we're allowed to, except obviously for competitions. It's still gonna be changing shoes, changing your shoes in the car park, with the locker rooms only to be used for welfare purposes. Uh, no changing and no storage of equipment in the, lock, uh, the lockers. The rule of six applies and we cannot serve food and drink during this initial phase. So please minimize the time spent milling around after golf. That said, the halfway house will be open during the week for set periods of time and they'll be serving uh, nibbles and soft drinks. Um, but again, please, no gatherings and no loitering. Uh, grab what you need, continue with your round, and please look after your litter. Also from the 29th, the practice area, the professional shop uh, are reopening, and lessons are available. Hello everyone. Step two starts two weeks later, on Monday the 12th of April, where we're allowed to serve drinks on the patio for seated people in, in sixes. You have to remain seated, unfortunately, all the time we're consuming. Those are the rules, but we understand them. We've done it before. And then five weeks after that, on the 17th of May, we're allowed to serve drinks, socially distanced inside, continuing to serve outside also, and hopefully the weather will be getting better then, so it'll be a bit more fun. Um, and when we get to the step four, which is the 21st of June, then all restrictions are removed. These timelines are of course subject to the government changing their mind, which we know they rarely do, but it might just be our luck. So, what's been going on on the course? Well, in a word, lots and lots of things have been happening. We're gonna take you to an area of the course and show you a few examples and talk about some of the achievements that Mark and his team have delivered for us while we've not been allowed to turn up. So, here we are on the 12th tee, which has now been completed. The heather beds are in, and there's also been a, a great amount of clearance to the, to the left of the tees here. So um, a massive amount of work has taken place down on 14, uh, particularly in respect to the drainage. If you remember the unprecedented rainfall from last year, the water was backing up, it wasn't clearing out, and it was even backing up across 16 and up to the high ground on 17. Um, when the guys started excavating, they found uh, damaged and collapsed drains. We even found uh, tree, uh, tree roots growing in the drains uh, on the scout land, and we've had to dig extra drainage down to the mill pond. The team have also completed gravel banding across the 14th fairway to further support drainage. All the greens have been drilled and filled, which is a process by which a large core of compacted earth is taken out down to a depth of around 12 inches and it's refilled with sand and nutrients. And Mark Smith did a superb job of bringing that forwards from its originally anticipated date, which would have coincided with us returning to the course. But now that was completed two, two and a half weeks ago. A huge amount of work was carried out. Uh, over a four or five day, a four or five day period, and uh, it's almost entirely grown out now, almost entirely. Certainly by the time we return next week, I don't think you'll know that it had ever has happened, other than from the fact that the greens will be in much better condition moving forwards. Over the last few years, the greens team have found a way of delivering a, a better defined course year on year, and behind me you can see the bunkers on the fourth green. 
They've all been edged, as has every bunker on the course. And the definition, as the guys prepare for us to return, is improving all the time. A couple of dates for your diary. Peter and I are hosting a Captain and President's Fun Day on Saturday the 17th of April. Hope you can take part. And the following week, we're going to have the opportunity to celebrate the Toffs and Tufts after a difficult year which will involve all members of the club. So there we have it. The course is ready and in absolutely fantastic condition. And we have a timeline in place for getting Alton Golf Club back up and running. Stay safe and we look forward to seeing you on the 29th. Cheers.